Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friend sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin! I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. Elara? When I'm a captive, I tend to prefer Captain Dawn. The sharpest knives hide behind friendly faces. Charming company you're keeping these days. The last Imperial I took in worked out pretty well. Thought I'd go for two. And a Sith, no less. You always did enjoy a challenge. Careful, Commander. You'll slip on the fawning Captain Slobber. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advisors of the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. I have so many admirers and so little time. We'll keep this brief. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Hyogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Why would you risk everything over a single weapon? I take full responsibility for the Republic's actions. But I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. What are you getting at, Malcolm? Havoc squads in your blood. Same goes for me and Captain Dorn. We need you. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. Malcolm is your father, Theron. What do you make of his offer? He's right about the Republic. Vela nearly broke them. They need this. The Empire suffered too. We alone supported your battle against Valen, and we paid for it, dearly. Now, the Republic wants to deliver the killing blow. You walked away from their corruption once before. Now, you can wipe the slate clean. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. Lana, you know the Empire inside and out. What's your take on Asina's offer? We've already allied with the Empire. If we turn against them now, what message does that send to the rest of our followers? It tells them we don't honor agreements with traitors. Don't forget, she trespassed on Iocath without your permission. A small transgression. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Republic. Glad to hear it. What a good little soldier you turned out to be. Major Quinn, you have your orders. For the Empire! He got away. We'll deal with him later. Commander, the Empire's launched a preemptive strike. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Elara, I need you stationed here. Defend my base and I'll debrief you once the fighting dies down. Looking forward to it, sir. May the Force serve us all. I've just reviewed your bioscan. You're very fortunate to have survived nerve damage this severe. We'll give you two a moment alone. Until next time, Commander. See you on the battlefield. Standard Colto immersion treatment seems to have repaired the damage, but I'd still advise temporary implantation of polarized cranial implants to be on the safe side. Sounds complicated. Any rules or regs I should be aware of before you start operating? 
You're well beyond the reach of Republic regulations. We searched for you. Endlessly. I'm sure Jorgen filled you in on the political particulars. But my role as Havoc Commander didn't survive the experience. Malcolm stepped in on my behalf and assigned me to his personal staff. He even gave me assignments that allowed me to continue the search. But I couldn't carry on like that forever. The Republic needed me. I still hoped you'd return, but... I never imagined it would be quite like this. Carbonite. The Eternal Empire, Valkorion. The recruitment officer definitely left a few things out. In any case, it's good to have you back on the Republic side. With our forces combined, the future will be much brighter. I look forward to working together again, Commander. If you ever need my help, I'll be there. I know you two have a lot of history, but... She could be our traitor. The question is, do you trust Captain Dawn? Alara's never given me any reason to doubt her word. She always operates above board. I don't see her doing something like this. In that case, I'll cross her off the list of suspects. <laughs>